So, award winning Ghanaian gospel artist Joe Metal has come out to say in an interview that he will not accept any uh, sponsorship from any alcoholic brand or company. This is Social Street on Hypes Media with your brother and your friend, Sir Isaac. If you know this is the first time you are joining us on this particular platform, I will please with you that kindly subscribe and please don't forget to press the bell notification so that any time we upload a new video, you also get a chance to watch it live. And please, you are also welcome with your comments and opinions on any of our videos. So like I said, a Ghanaian gospel musician, Joe Metal, has uh, retreated his stance on sponsorship from alcoholic brands. During an interview on Daybreak Hit with Andy Dusty, Joe Metal made it clear that he would not accept sponsorship from such brands for his event. He stated, it is, no, it is no for me. Aside from faith, you can only work with brands that complement what you do. When asked about accepting anonymous sponsorship from an alcoholic brand or alcohol brand, Jometa said, with brands that give sponsorship and do not want to be mentioned, that is silent sponsors. Because silent, silence is silent. I don't know what I would do about that now, though. He further explained that corporate sponsorships usually come with strings attached, as they are often obligations to fulfill in return. A company's sponsorship is mostly not free, since no matter what, you'll be required to pay it someday since you'll be invited on their stage, he stated. The FDA in its guidelines for the advertisement of foods published on February 1, 2016, stipulate that no well-known personality or professional shall be used in alcoholic beverage advertising. The authority explained that the guidelines was necessary to prevent minors from being addicted to alcohol due to the influence of celebrities. The FDA further noted that the ban was in adherence with a policy by the World Health Organization, WHO, and also part of effort to protect children and young ones from being lured into alcoholism. However, a citizen Mark Darlington filed a suit against the FDA's directive, praying the APS court to hold an unconstitutional, to hold as unconstitutional the directive as it violated the right against discrimination as guaranteed by Article 17 of the 1992 Constitution. But the Supreme Court, in a five to majority decision on Wednesday, June 19, dismissed the case and upheld the FDA's directive. The court held that the directive by FDA was not unreasonable and excessive, adding that it didn't contravene the provision of the constitution. So, near uh, story near pattern said, yeah, Joe Metal, uh, in an interview with Anidosi on Daybreak, you know, or say, or no. We alcoholic company and as a brand, no, I want to say Joe Metal, a Bayer event, BTC, say Trace Reloaded, and you want to partner with them, uh, forget because, or oh, no, no, or near crowd or say, or didn't mean you know, a be for it for a year alcoholic brands and as a company, or near ready, or near ready, or near ready, say, or be ma, then crop why, and you know, or more banner concerts, nothing, I be pro pro and sa, and as I be trom on sanum. On one casano no monsa, so how do you expect, sir, or beton on San Honiama and answer and San Amane fans? He says that will never happen. These are the words of gospel musician A. Uh, yeah, Joe Metal. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please remember to press the bell notification so that anytime we upload a new video on Hives Media, you also get a chance 
to watch it live with us. Thank you so much. This has been The Social Street with your brother and your friend, Sir Isaac. I'll see you again in another episode. Makramunina.